Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Per Adutya. I'm going to ask you a question. Best time to buy and sell stock. You are given an array of prices where prices of I is the price of given stock on the I today. You want to maximize your profit by choosing a single day to buy one stock and choosing a different day in future to sell that stock. Alright. Return the maximum profit you can achieve from this transaction. If you cannot achieve any profit, return zero. So this is the question. So the question is like that. They have given the prices array. So prices now are array. Cut through. And uh, so that means the eighth day. That uh, and the eighth index. That it means that uh, that is the price of the stock on that day, on that particular day. So you can buy stock on one day and you can sell it on different day. So basically, what condition? That means you can sell one stock on one day, one day only sell one day. So so one day only, in another different different day, then you can sell the stock. So this is our condition, right? So first example, look at first example. That means seven one five three six four. So this is what suppose you want the first day, first that is zero three, zero three next letter day, zero three next letter stock price. So zero three day, that means seven. And then first day, sell money. Now, how long? Seven, one minus seven minus six. I know. So you will lose money. So now you can't uh, buy at seven and sell at one. Suppose you go first day, how long? Now first, all that uh, first day. First day, let me tell you. Now first day, let me tell you. Now one worker. So so stock one rupee go long. And if you are able to sell at three rupees, now profit will be three minus one two. And then you one rupee go long. You go to five rupees sell money. Now profit will be five. Right. So आधे उन्हें one rupee को आंगी six six rupees six rupees six sell पनी की ना your profit will be six minus one is five so आधे का maximum profit you can gain from this stocks right so another the maximum profit is five so five दान इंगे return पनो so second example पारणे second example अब आंधे as you can see नंबर आरे में आंधे it's in descending order right descending order ना like the stock prices are decreasing day by day so basically, right? So first example of pathing, you know, first example it's like uh, a graph array, right? So first step we put and then one, and then it's going to five, and then it's coming back to three, and maybe six it put, and then maybe four it put. So it's like the graph is like this. So in a stock market, in a follow up, in one thing, now you can notice that the graph will be like zigzag order. And then second example of pathing, you know, second example of the graph is graph is like. Uh, the graph is purely decreasing, so if we go to the graph, like, right, in our graph, it decreases. And now this is prices, right, so price doesn't decrease. So, if so the price decreases, you will sell it where you sell it, you will have a loss, not a profit. So, we will buy the stock, I mean, the maximum profit you can earn is zero, right. We are, we are not buying any stock and selling. In this case, no transactions are done and the maximum profit is zero. All right. So, this is the question. So, in the question, park up, park up, we have So, it's simple uh, buying and selling thing. So, basically, we have to stock or stock uh, profit maximize. So, basically, we will buy the stock at low price, low as low as possible. So on the lower amount to come, maximum price is sell panwa, right? So we should, enna panwa na, na bande we should minimize the buying price. We should minimize the buying price, right? And we should maximize the selling price. We should maximize the selling price, all right? Maximize the selling price. So ida tham panwa no. So ida tham na bande panna pao rom. Just we are minimizing and maximizing selling price. And selling price minus the buying price is the profit you get. So final up profit we are maximizing, maximizing the profit, all right, maximizing the profit. So profit upper maximum or if the selling price is maximum and the buying price is minimum, all right. So without wasting any further time, we can just get into the code. So, all right, so code may have a So first we can declare a variable called buy. So buy one day inshallah. And our logic is that now, the array put together. So you can't, you can't sell the stocks on this on the first day, right? So now you can only buy the stock on the first day. So inshallah, buying is nothing but it's like first day prices of zero. 
so price of zero and uh, profit essentially zero all right and we can run a for loop for int i is equal to zero and i is less than the prices so prices dot size so now if we just depend on we have to minimize the buying price and maximize the uh, maximizing the selling price maximizing the profit i mean so cost in our very very good cost is nothing but the current uh, so current cost in our very good current uh, current price in our variable current price is nothing but the but the price on the i today right so prices of i and profit profit is nothing but the maximum of profit is equal to maximum of uh, the profit as well as the current price all right and then now we can minimize the buying price buy is equal to uh, buy is equal to minimum of buy and the current price all right so it's as simple as that so in the in the loop play now we are maximizing the profit and uh, we are minimizing the we are maximizing profit and we are, we are minimizing the buying price and current price pathing you know, it's uh, we can we can have it as cost right so confusion we can have it as cost and cost is nothing but uh, it is the difference between the current day price as well as the buying price all right so in give me cost in material long cost so buy is nothing but buy is the minimum of uh, minimum of the buy as well as the current price color current price na its prices of i all right so then finally we can return the profit so run pan line po So, we can accept and work there, we can submit and see. So, already and the question I've uh, done them many times. So, we are going to do the question, right? So, we are just uh, maximizing the profit and minimizing the buying price. So, it's as simple as that. And in the cost part, you know, cost is nothing but the difference between the price and the buying price. So, in the cost and the maximum, you know, our profit will be equal to that cost. So, that is the logic and minimum price only, minimum price is nothing but suppose our current price is only minimum and the buy will be equal to that current price. So, it is as simple as that. So, in the video, please like, share and 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 share and